And so let's talk a little bit about Tycho. Uh, first off, what, what is Tycho? Each knee so right. But again, what is Tycho? Tycho is the jet is is the is the Japanese form of drumming that has taken the world by storm pretty much. It kind of blew out of Japan in the eight in, um, in American consciousness in the 80s, but it's been around since the 60s. Um, I first was exposed to taiko in New York City by a group called Sodaiko, and they're attached to the New York uh, Buddhist Church, and they were just amazing. I saw them at an event called Sakura Matsuri, uh, which is run by the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens. They have a beautiful cherry blossom esplanade. And lots of people come and check it out. And it is a really a fun time. And it just blew my socks off. I was already involved with Native and African style drumming. And this was just tremendous stuff. If you go to the Shunga website, site, let me just pop that up for you just, just for a moment. Okay, if you go to the Shunga website, we have a Tycho page. And there's a whole bunch of information, a, a little bit about, about Tycho in general. Now, Tycho is characterized by really big drums. And just to give you a quick idea, I'm just gonna tilt to here and I'll show you my two little friends. Okay, I've got two Tycho here. Okay, this one is, a, oh, these are both Okinawan made. This is an Isa Odaiko, using the, the Isa dance. Dance, it's about 17 inches in diameter. And um, I picked him up about a year ago. And then we have Aniki-san, uh, is a Chudaiko, a Nagano uh, taiko drum. Taiko in Japanese means big drum. There is no difference between taiko and daiko. Daiko is the form used in a compound word. So if you say miyake daiko, the, the daiko part still means drums, but it's typically connected to a thing, like either a song name or a type of drum or a, or a, song, or a style style or maybe a drum group uh, like Sodaiko or, or Miyako Daiko down in down in DC. And the issue with the, with cost with cost of entry, uh, one of the reasons why only why groups tend to be involved with Taiko is that the instruments themselves are quite are quite costly. Starting around seven, eight hundred dollars dollars for 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 rather small drums like a Shime Daiko and working its and working their way up to to, to, to the Nagano Daiko, which fall in 1,200, 1,300, 1,500, 2,500 for, for when you get up to your Daiko sizes. Um, I do not own a no Daiko. I lust after one, but it will not fit in my house. We're talking a drum with a diameter of maybe five, five, five to six feet, maybe seven feet long, a few couple of hundred pounds. You need to put them on a cart to move them. Um, a fellow I know and, and like, um, up, up from the New England area, um, Stuart Payton. He is a mad scientist, taiko player, and he essentially um, built a giant glow daiko um, that he that he that he tried it out to the last two East Coast taiko conferences, and it's just monstrous, truly huge. And so there's a used taiko for sale down in Norf Norfolk, Virginia, $180, and I'm like, Heather, road trip. We're getting that, and it turns out it was a Navy couple who had been um, stationed in Okinawa. They bought this drum for their kids who were in a this drum for the kids who were in a taiko program in their local schools. Um, they did a couple of rotations. They rotated back to the states. The kids had grown, moved out. The drum was sitting in there for ten years, unplayed, and they're retiring and moving to Colorado. Have to shed a lot of their household. Um, so basically, went out, brought and brought this guy home. And the following February, I went to the East Coast Taiko uh, Conference. Uh, took some workshops. Got Got, got reconnected back to the taiko world, world, and got and and started practicing again. Then this year I went up, I, I went up to this time the conference was up in uh, in Connecticut. Took some more miyake and I know daiko and I did a very interesting workshop with a woman named named Karen Young and it was called Taiko and Community. Now one of the things that came up when I was talking to people is what group are you with? Let's say Shango Percussion and they say never heard of you. And it says you probably haven't. We're a world percussion group in the hills of West Virginia. And they go, oh, and I'm the taiko player. And they go, oh, I'm probably the only taiko player in Morgan County. And part of why I'm doing this 
is that there should be more taiko players in Morgan County, or at least in the region. Our nearest taiko dojo um, to Berkeley Springs is at Mark H. Rooney's taiko school, and he's down in, um, in Tacoma Park, just outside of Washington, two and a half hour drive each way. So not, ex so not exactly a comfortable commute for, regular, for classes. I try to get down there when they're doing workshops and, and having events. Ben's is a good guy and, and, very, and, and very forthcoming and just full of enthusiasm about all things Taiko. The part of the history of Taiko is that in the 60s, a man named Suchi Tanaka uh, started doing Taiko in the San Francisco area, formed the San Francisco Taiko Dojo. Um, that spawned um, Taiko groups in Emeryville and San Jose. They, uh, so Daiko was founded in, in, um, on the East Coast in New York City, and for a long time they were the Taiko group on the East. Um, then we had Odaiko up in, up in the Boston area, and, uh, and, and over time Taiko started spawning all, all through North America, um, getting down to D.C., getting, out, getting in, into the Midwest, mm. West and the Southwest. And so a lot, of, a lot of cool things have happened over, over 40 years. And one of the things that, that Tanaka Sensei did, he's actually taught um, taught people how to learn Taiko, which was very important. Okay. One of the main differences with Taiko drums versus uh, versus uh, African and with Nissan style and hand drums um, is, of course, bachi. They are, these are stick drums; they aren't played by hands because you just you'll just wear yourself out. We just wear your hands out. And if, and if you conga players know exactly what I'm talking about, you're backing on a rock hard cowhide. And these are generally cowhide. Um, and so we use bachi. Okay. Um, and bachi are ten, uh, typically, um, they can be harder woods, but they are typically soft to medium hardness woods um, because we also play the fuchi, the side, the, the rim of the drum, as well as, as, well as, the, as the kaga. Um, and so Ishikawa Sensei pointed out that if you're playing a two thousand a, a fifteen hundred two thousand dollar instrument, and and you're worried about your thirty dollar bachi, your priorities are a little messed up. Um, these are software. Replace them. Repairing a drum is is, is time consuming and costly. So you want to protect the drum and and tear up and tear up your bachi. Now these are. Uh, our, sta our standard bocce, um, they're about 16 inches long, they're around 3 quarters, 5 eighths of an, uh, of an inch in diameter, um, roughly broomstick size, and just to give you um, a clue, okay, for the lighter drums, um, those, the, the, those uh, things that look like little hourglasses with the, with the rope, those are shime, shime daiko, and they play the high-pitched punk sound, we're here in taiko music, and they're playing with these. These are these are lighter. These are about half inch thick, a little bit shorter, and they're definitely lighter. Um, and these are made by a, by a, by a sano taiko. Go. Um, that's one. That's one set. I had made another pair um, for a small for this for for, for for maybe smaller drums. These are cut down from a pair of standard sticks. I got to be careful with these because these are actually fairly hard. Um, because of the, of the way rock drummers play, they tear up sticks pretty, pretty, pretty swift. And then I also have these. Okay, um, these are Odaiko Bachi that I that 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 I made myself, and these are designed for playing the big the the, the very the very large uh, Odaiko. Um, a Miki san could be played as an odaiko if I put him up on a tower stand. Stand, but um, that's the um, the style is played standing. Okay, and so you're basically up, and you would you would play uh, the odaiko like like that. You'd be you'd, you'd be you'd be standing up, and the drum would be about there. I'm not going to use this one. I don't have access to an Odaiko, but there we okay. And one of the things that makes Taiko so cool is that they are thunderous. And so they make a beat, something like this. 
Sorry about your subwoofer. Okay, he has a little higher pitch because he's smaller. So I want to talk a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about um, what we call Kuchi Shoga. Now, Kuchi Shoga is how we learn Taiko rhythm. And those of you who have been familiar with African and Middle Eastern styles might be familiar with hearing gun gun go do pa ta to describe the, the, the bass tone and slap sound. And in the Middle Eastern style, it's a dum bek dum tek ka. Okay. And these are analogous. They, aren't quite, they don't quite stand for the same things, but it's the same idea. You have these syllables that sound a, a great deal like what you're playing. And so that helps you to remember. Okay, so okay, so on the drum, this the bod body is the do. Okay, this is the skin here, the center, this part here, that is the hara. Okay, this is also the hara, and that makes and that's, that's important. Okay, around here the rim, that is the fuchi. Okay, Not the way. And the main hit, a hit to the to the to the hara, a standard hit, is a don, don. Okay. So, and, and so, some teachers will only will use don exclusively. Some use don and con for your right left, um, if it makes a difference. Okay. So you have don. And how that makes a difference. Now, a lighter hit would be do or ko. Okay. Okay. Two in a row, doko. Even, even. And doro is our two quick hits with the do little bit. Doro. That would be doro. Out here in the outer third, we're uh, be familiar with. Playing a tone on a on a on a hand drum, that that would be suku. Okay, su, 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 or suku, suku, suku. Okay, so a, a phrase in in a kuchi shoga might be don suku don don. Okay, don suku don don. And that's how you remember the phrases. Okay, um, and it's be the same thing on this on the smaller drums here. So you'd have like so, don, don, doro, doko, doro, suku. Okay, and the fuchi is ka and ra, ka ra. So it sounds like what you're doing. Now the big difference, um, even even though it's okay to tear up the uh, your, your bachi, is that the skin is played quite hard. The rim is not particularly. You just just need to tap some. Uh, some styles will also play the body. Okay. Um, the reason to being is you don't want to damage this edge this edge mutt as little as possible. And it doesn't take it doesn't take a lot of of, press, of of hit to make a good sound on the fuchi. Same here. Now the style I'm playing right now is called nanami nanami uchi. It means diagonal striking. In theory, it is the most challenging of the taiko of the taiko styles. Well, because it is asymmetric, it is somewhat asymmetrical. Okay. Um, essentially, you stand offline from the drum. So here's the, here's the center line of the drum, and I'm not aligned with it. I'm to the, I'm to one side. Okay, my front foot is forward, my back foot is reversed. I'm Extended so that the, the tips of the bachi in a, in a good in a proper grip reach the reach the hara, and when I strike, the right comes up, 
and then back in in the shape as if this is a, a big searchlight and the tip of the bocce stays inside the beam left hand is almost the same thing but it's it, but it's cross is cross body because to here breaks a little bit but doesn't wrap around my neck particularly it comes to about there now the other difference is is that instead of trying to turn this over I turn it back so that uh, so at the very end it rotates and strikes the surface and in fact my Mark Rooney calls it the Rooney flip I don't think he says he hasn't noticed anybody else mentioning it but he does it and now he teaches it and and I think he's right on with it because I, I do it too and I realize I have probably always have but no one ever mentioned it this hand just it's a pretty it's pretty straightforward with the saber grip the grip is not super hard because then you don't have any um, sensitivity to, to your strokes it's actually kind of, it's actually kind of loose and it pretty much tens tenses at the strike, but the, but sometimes you'll, you'll you'll see guys who are who are just basically over. I'm going to switch I'm going to switch cams for just a second, and so you'll see what I'm what I mean. Like I've got just a very loose grip. Okay. Oh, that gets the point across, but you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to see about teaching two songs. Um, the first song is by, is by Sensei Tanaka. It is called Renshu. Renshu is a Japanese word. It means practice. Like everything else worth doing, you need to practice. Um, what it does is it incorporates just about all the standard strokes and sounds in most taiko songs that you need to know and also, also the timing of them. It's got five lines, and the first line's a double line. It's twice as long as the rest, but it's all on a four count. Um, and so half the first half line it is don, 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 don. Okay, one, two, three, four. And don, 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 don. One and two and three. One and two and three. Okay. Uh, Dorosuku don, don. And so, you, so you've got holes, holes, quarters, eighths. Okay, um, and that line looks like this. Okay. Uh, second line is dorosuku, 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 don don. Third line is we change it is this is almost the same as the se as the second but it, it, we, we now bring in the fuchi okay so don kara don kara don kara 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 okay and what's interesting about this lot li uh, lines two um, lines three and four is you end up with the double right so the big right here comes down and then goes immediately to the next hit. The fourth, the fourth line has the same structure, um, but it's now it's don suku. So don suku would be don suku, big and quiet. Don suku, don suku, don suku, don don. Now it decides to mess with you because what makes rhythms interesting is not just the noises but the silences. So we have one more syllable to add to the Kuchi Shogo for you guys to learn, and that's called su. Su is silence or rest. And so the fifth line is su dan, su dan, su dan dan, su. Okay, so basically we're playing on the down on the upbeat. And so if you come out of Don Suku Dun Dun Su Dun Su Dun Su Dun Dun Su So it's one boom, two boom, three boom, four boom, boom, and 
So it, it's a little bit of a change up. So here we, here we go. I'm going to play the whole thing straight through. And this is Renshu. Ichni so re. Don. 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 Yes, oh, I didn't mention it, that yes, each line is played twice. And that give you a sense of song structure. Now, something I did, but the part I didn't go into, is that typically a taiko rhythm will sit on a, ba on a bass line um, called the jiuchi, okay? And jiuchi sits, which is, un which is a little bit different from, from African and Middle Eastern music, where typically the lead drums set the note, set the time and the pace or in African music a Junjun, which is more like a like these guys would set the time would set the timing and the pace and so like for instance if you're playing cuckoo it's like bomb bomb dun dun taka dun dun bum 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 and so you've got your, your junjun dum 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 dun dun jun jun okay jun and maybe and maybe a bell ding ta ding tick ding tick ding tick dun dun tick ding tick ding tick ding tick ding Dun, dun, tick, ding, tick, ding, tick. Okay. Now we do have in taiko a thing called an atarigame. It's a small gong, and it's played with a little with a with a little hammer. And it's got a bone piece on the end. Pinka, 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 tick, 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 ten, tick, ten, tick, ten, tick, 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 ten, tick, ten, tick, ten. That's a whole nother thing. And I wish I had one. They're really expensive. Okay, you know, you go into a music store and you can buy a, a triangle or a, or a bell for twenty-five, thirty, you know. 15 bucks, 35 bucks. You're going to look at a Tarigame, it's $105. What? What? Probably because they're cast brass. So it's they're a little bit more, more expensive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to, to pop up um, a, um, a site that's very helpful for us solo players. It's called uh, the Taiko Drum Machine. Okay, the name, the, the site URL is dokodan.com. Um, and a very, very charming young man is, is, uh, has put that together as a thing. And, and so I'm going to have it play a, um, a juichi that goes with, the, that will go with Renshu. And so you'll hear another, another drum line, invisible in the background. And I'll be, I'll be playing against that. So you can get, so you can gather the count up. Each knee so re. Shoe at uh, at a nice comfortable at a nice comfortable medium space. Let's see some others. Now other styles of playing is beta. Beta is when the drum is sitting up vertical, and you basic and you basically and you basically play up and down. And let's switch. Let's let's do the camera switch again. This two camera thing is awesome. I'm glad I got it to work. Okay. Um, beta style. The drum is sit set vertical about this high up and you're playing here. Um, then you've got um, miyake 
uh, which is a, there's which is a kind of a, a yoko uchi. Yoko uchi means striking from the side. Um, if you go onto YouTube or go down my timeline a bit, you'll see the Sakura Taiko mashup um, that I did because we couldn't do Sakura Taiko Takeover this year, and so we it, basically the sun came out and went out and shot a video. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen is uh, Miyake. Um, Miyake is actually quite hard. I'm going to go go see about getting a a shot of that to to show you. So give me just bear with me a second. Oh, the, oh yeah, there we go. That's Miyake. Okay. Note that the drum is nearly on the floor. What you're looking at is Koro playing Miyake, and the drum is practically on the ground. So a low deep stance posture is everything. When I studied uh, Miyake with Barbara Merjan, um, we were doing stretches and warm-ups for almost a half hour before we even touched our bachi and got, and got by the drums because basically she pointed out if you don't do this properly, you can't do this past 27 and I'm 61 so I, I was like guilty. Yes, let's preserve the knees, the hips, the ankles, the lower back. Absolutely down with that. I was trying to make this various different stances. Also, Odaiko played up high, high. There is another one called Yatai Bayash, where you're actually leaning back and you're playing a drum here. My days of doing that are older. I do not have the abs of a 27 year old. Um, but you know, if I was doing it since I was 27, I probably still could. All right, the other piece I want to talk a little bit about is Miyake, is, is uh, Matsuri Daiko. Matsuri Daiko is one of the most popular Taiko pieces on the planet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find um, where I put my Jinbei. Well, that was kind of cool. It came into the frame. It's like the Doomsday Machine. That was great. Um, those of you who have been, been uh, jamming out with Shango for a little bit, either in Shango's Gate or with the, or with the main crew, this is our, our, our shakedown rhythm. It's called 2-4. It's a basic rhythm. It's one of those basic root rhythms. Okay, two is the plane. It's dawn. Four. We're just doing just a right left thing. Okay. Um, for, for the uninitiated who want to learn this, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, slap, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, slap. Okay, pretty basic. And this is a rhythm you can play with, you can improvise over, you can easy to solo with. And it's a good way just to loosen up your, your rhythmic chops, and it sounds cool too, too, as opposed to something complex like a cuckoo or, or, or yamidi or, or one of the more more formal intricate rhythms. This is one you can, this is one designed for jamming on because you can play it equally well on the on the doom back. Uh, if you may just notice, you can just pretty much do all that all the the, the, hip, the main notes with with your dom ham. Doom teka doom tek doom teka doom tek doom teka doom tek doom teka doom. Okay, so. Um, now one of the things I, I noticed um, when I when I was working with a, with a rhythm called called Matsuri Daiko Matsuri means festival. Uh, that was one of, that was the, the one of the first rhythms I Taiko songs I learned was Matsuri Daiko. It is um, it is a festival rhythm. Matsuri means festival. Right now we're in Sakura Matsuri Cherry Blossom Festival, and one of the things that was cool that we noticed that I noticed was that the Ji Uchi the the the, the bass line. For Matsuri Daiko is almost the same as 2 4. So, what that gives us is Don Suku Don Don. Okay. Almost the same pattern. Okay, so let me introduce uh, Matsuri Daiko. Matsuri Daiko has, has six front lines. And I'll, we'll do. We'll, we'll go over Matsuri a little bit. Okay, that's a that's a slower pace, but it's just perfectly fine for demo. But I guess. So we have a rhythm that sounds 
almost like this. Mi, so, re. Don 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 Karakaka Don Don Ko Don Karakaka Sutta Ko Don Karakaka Ko Don Karakon Don Karakaka Ka Don Ka Don Don Karakaka Doro Kara Don 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 Karakaka And so like I said and that sits on top of the Juichi and I did that so you can see the relationship of the of the song parts. Typically Matsuri Daiko is played um at o, uh, most conspicuously at Sakura Matsuri and also at Oban in the fall, which is the fall festival. I want to give you some information. Um, that is the uh, Shango website. Um, and basically, you go there. I'm going to just grab the, let's grab the image. Okay, that's the Shango website. Um, if you can see it across the, uh, the menu, we've got uh, home recordings and documents, videos. In the video side, there's a number of taiko performances that are fun but of good people who are good at this. Um, I'm particularly fond of so daikos, Matsuri Daiko, and Miyake performed by uh, by uh, Kara Watanabe. Oh my God, is he good? And he's a grown up. He's a full on grown up. So there's hope for me yet. Okay, in the site, okay, we've got we have a taiko page. Okay. Um, with a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of this information written down so you can get at it. Um, okay. And let me just show you brief. Let me just show you quickly Renshu, what that, what that looks like. Renshu, please. Okay, there's Renshu from Tanaka Sensei. Okay, don, 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 don. Okay, with, with, with the complete description, with, with the, with the instruction on how, on how to play it. Okay, if you actually go to the workshop page, uh, if you scroll down, you can actually get a PDF of almost all this of almost all the content that we've gone over here. Um, so, so, you, so basically, so you should, you should should get to see that. That so, if you want to study more, you can. Um, uh, suppose I should probably um, um, play a little taiko. Give give you just a, a send off. Um, let's see what might be what might be cool to do. Maybe a little bit of uh, Yamadaiko. Yamadaiko is an original piece. It's got its own page on the website. You can look it up later. I'll talk a little bit more about it on the other side. It was a uh, piece I've been noodling with for about a year with the intention of giving other drums a platform to jam in with the taiko. But I'll just give you a quick look at the shape of it. Yep, the DSLR's battery has quit, has quit, and so there we go. So let's, so I'm gonna have to do, do it the interesting fashion way. Okay.
The only thing that stinks about that is that I can't tell the uh, the G player to stop with the end of the of the piece um, because it's a machine. It's a cool machine, but it's a machine. There we go. Hato de aimas. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Norm, I would have just been happy to publish a public link to the meeting and then um, and let people just come in. But we now have a new thing in this world. It's called Zoom Bombers. These are jerks and ass jackals who basically find a public Zoom meeting and descend in a horde and just be terrible, post inappropriate comment, uh, put porn material up, up and just generally be a pain in the butt. And so, and so. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Yes, he touched his face. It's okay. I've washed my hands recent. It's okay. I'm, I've, we've been here in the house for a week. Well, actually, I was outside yesterday. We didn't see anybody. And yes, he touched his face. I just washed my hands like not too long ago. It's okay. It's all good. I haven't been outside for like days. Actually, I was outside yesterday, but I didn't see nobody. No, seriously, I did not see anybody. No one walked by on the, on the road. No, nobody was loose. There was real quiet on Route 9 for the most part.